And Can I just want to reiterate? You guys said that you are you are good with women because you fuck a certain amount of women. I'm, I'm saying I'm no, no, no I'm saying we have sex with more girls than the average guy. Yeah, so I that don't. gives you that stamp that says you are good woman. And the answer was we fuck a lot of we fuck more women than the average men. They could. That was the answer. I think it's like no, is that you guys do? So I just want to make sure that that's the common ground. I want you guys to come. That, that is, but here's a, let's make it clear. That is yeah. that for a man to be good with women, that is the metric of success. At yeah. the end of the day, getting laid is the name of the game when it comes to being good with women because let's keep it real a woman's most prized commodity is her her, her body her, her sexual access so yeah. if you're able to get sex from a large majority of women you inevitably have to display universal attraction triggers to a, ma a lot of women you gotta you guys i feel like the same woman that you would fuck this is not the same woman he would be able to fuck Incorrect. Incorrect. We fucked the same Actually, girls yeah. many times Incorrect. over. I just, I think that <laughs> Nadia, I... Nadia, I'll be keep real. You have zero clue about yep. like how the dating marketplace oh, works man. for men. No, so maybe, maybe because you guys have the same ideologies, which is why you're both on the same show. So maybe, maybe I'm assuming... No, 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 no. I told you we just share, we share w women with, with celebrities and athletes. That yeah. goes to prove what we've been telling you. Uh, I get where Nadia's coming from, but like, yeah. I, I think uh, Nadia just comes, I, I guess, and it's different because you're a woman. So like for you, you're in the, you're in the buyer seat. You, you choose the men that you fuck with. Mm -hmm. Like it, men don't un get that privilege. Like I'm saying, the whole business that you make money off of, hundred thousand plus a year, is based off of male scarcity with sex. So that should tell you right there and then mm -hmm. that it's difficult for a lot of guys to get laid. So what I'm saying is that the women are sharing all the guys that are being fucking, are, that are fucking. Yeah, like the the girls that are out here that are like smashing dudes are smashing that same percentage of guys. Because what I'm trying to tell you is, yep. if you have sex with a hundred girls versus five hundred girls. More than likely, it's the, those two guys, they have certain unalienable tra traits that make them attractive to women. Like I told you guys before, attractions is a choice. There are certain attraction triggers that women look for. I'll break it down for you guys. Leader of men, being assertive, being dominant, not taking female bullshit, putting a woman in her place when she says stupid shit, like not uh, basically being a, a leader, masculine, traditionally masculine traits. If you have these traits, you are going to be attractive to a large demographic of women. The problem is that most men don't have these traits. Even the most financially savvy men that are successful, have money, etc. they still don't understand these hardwired yeah. traits. Only a small percentage of men actually have yeah. them along with the money. So yeah. this is why women fuck these guys. Again, this doesn't mean that the, the, these women stay with these guys, but they're sexually attractive and they're going to smash these guys. If they're looking for a long-term bet, they might commit to a guy that makes money but is a beta male. Yep. Does that make sense more?